Hello fish lovers! Finally, this tank is completed. Let me show you what I have done in the past week. And uh, you can see how it's looking today. So it's been uh, a week now since I uh, started the, this uh, new tank, since I added the water. That was last uh, Sunday. This is my Uvel or Jewel, I don't know how to pronounce that correctly, aquarium, which is uh, already cleaned up and ready to, to go for uh, sale. But let's talk about uh, my aquarium, my new aquarium. This is what I've been doing this week. I added this uh, this black cover just to hide the water line. This is something that I bought from the store that uh, you can put this uh, on furniture. It's a self sticky tape. You just peel off the protected uh, the protection layer and you can stick this uh, on furniture but I did it with my tank. Also, I put it over here and here. The lid for this tank is made of polycarbonate. Uh, this stuff is uh, plastic. It's whole uh, empty inside with some layers. It's mainly used for greenhouse construction, but you can see that it's Pretty good material for aquarium lids. Let me give you a better look. So this is uh, how my aquarium looks like. Actually my aquarium top looks like. I like it, it's a good finish. And also on the edges of the glass I added this uh, uh, plastic uh, cover. Let me show you from here. So this part here, it's uh, plastic. I glue it uh, on the glass with silicone. So I have to cover all the edges because I didn't like how the silicone bead was looking. It had many small air bubbles. So this is what I have to do to make it a professional look. I did have some uh, inspiration from my uh, UVL tank. You can see the the lid of uh, that tank and the lid that I have uh, created for this tank. So I'm pretty happy with my build. It looks okay. I only have to cover the, the the metal stand. I have to to find someone who is good in wood construction to make me some furniture to cover this up with some doors, of course. So my uh, my water is crystal clear. I'm pretty happy with the GBL filter. I will do a review soon and uh, a cleaning when it will be necessary. Sorry about the reflection in the glass, it's midday. I had uh, the CO2 installed. I don't really need CO2 for my plants, but I do have a, a full tank of CO2, so I just added it to the tank. My fish looks pretty happy. Something scared him. It does uh, scared easily by uh, moving movement. So yeah, it took uh, let me see three or four days for the water to become uh, crystal clear. I did uh, I did put this uh, ceramic or Cirax. This was in my uh, UVL filter. It was cycled. I did put it in here. You can see in my previous videos I did 
a live uh, video about how I move it, my fish and my my gravel and my water and everything from this uh, from this tank, from my usual tank over to the new tank. So everything looks good now. This is how my aquarium is going to look like. Except I'm going to add some furniture to to mask the steel stand and the hardware beneath him. So I'm. Uh, I hope that you you like this uh, tank that I built. It's been like uh, a month now since I started working on the metal stand. I added the glass, uh, glued the glass together, and this week, like I said, I added the lid and the uh, and the foil that covers the water line and the plastic covers from here you can see here I have one two three four five five lead strips glue it to the to the lid I will make a separate video about this how to properly install lead strips for your aquarium Yeah, I'm pretty happy with this. It's a massive tank, two meters long. The type over here. So, a two meter long tank that I built. Four hundred liters of water, or a hundred gallons of water inside. Looks okay for now. Yeah, this is it for today. This is going to be the last video in the playlist 2 meters aquarium uh, build. I will be making more videos on my filter, the lead strips, how to cycle, how to fast cycle uh, a fish tank. Subscribe for more and have a nice day guys, bye.